All right, welcome back everyone. So now we're gonna talk a little bit about the software uh, and programming language that we're going to use for this, for this class. Uh, in particular, we're going to use MATLAB. So MATLAB is commercial software. Uh, it stands for Matrix Laboratory. And it's a software environment and a programming language where you can uh, essentially you know, define data, do analysis on the data, and plot your data all in one uh, unified framework, which is really, really convenient. So the student edition of MATLAB is uh, relatively inexpensive, and it's a high-level scripting language which means that lots of the, the functionality that you want for plotting and analysis are built-in functions, so you don't always have to write all of your code from scratch in MATLAB, uh, which, is, which is really great. The MathWorks company who puts out MATLAB employs thousands of highly trained mathematicians and engineers who are constantly working to make sure that uh, all of the pieces of MATLAB work seamlessly together from statistics to plotting, uh, you know, to differential equations and engineering analysis. And so that makes it a really nice platform where you can, um, you know, write your own high-level scripts to do analysis without getting, you know, getting under the hood too much. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of some of the kinds of things you can do uh, in MATLAB. So I've opened up this, uh, this MATLAB window, and down here we have the command window. This is where I can type, you know, inline commands for quick and dirty, programming if I just want to bring up a plot or do some analysis or test something. Up here, you also have this editor window, and this allows you to save scripts. So if there's a bunch of lines of code that I've written, maybe 10 or 20 lines of code that do something cool, I can save it as a script for later. So I can open it later, or I can email it to people, or I can build functions, uh, you know, little pieces that I can then make a much bigger program out of, which is, which is really cool. So here I'm just going to do a quick example. I'm going to define a vector x, and x is going to go from minus 5 to 5 in increments of 0.1. So it's going to go from minus 5 to 5 with increments of 0.1. This is just a vector of data. Okay. I'm going to put a semicolon to suppress the output. If I look at the size of x, this should be a big vector, and so it's 1 by 1001, so it's this big vector of data. Uh, if I just output the data in x, it's a bunch of columns of data all the way from minus 5 to positive 5. And I can do cool things like I can plot x by sine of x, just one line in line, and I get this really nice graphical representation of my data. Okay, so this is just a toy example, but you see that very, very quickly we can uh, load data, you know, we can load data, analyze the data, and then bring up a plot uh, just with a couple lines of MATLAB. And if we really like what we did, we can save it in uh, the editor to build on later. Okay, so we're going to talk a lot more about MATLAB in general, and we're going to use this in our course so that we can focus on kind of the mathematical algorithms and the real uh, applications of interest. Okay, so this is going to facilitate our, our uh, integration of the methods with the applications. Okay, thank you.